So we finally finished the Sumeru Archon quest, finally beat up Scaramouche, and found out that Nahida is best out of the four Archons because she can actually provide us answers. What now? Well, time to play a card game. Now I'm really excited for 3.3's Genius Invocation. I've barely played any digital card games besides MTGA, but I've played multiple of like the physical card games, collector's card games, and primarily, well, unsurprisingly, MTG. And I just really can't wait for this update. Sadly, Hoyoverse has given us very, very little information on how this game will go, the win conditions, and even card mechanics. All we can go off are the designs from Twitter, and that one clip from 3.1's teaser. But if there's one thing I can talk about, it's predicting the GCG metagame. Also, I'm aware that this is marketed as a light-hearted and casual game mode, where you only re earn rewards in PvE and not PvP. And I think that's a good thing, because people won't be forced to PvP. But for people like me, or people who want to be interested in card games, you're gonna end up playing with other people. You're gonna end up brewing your own deck to see if your deck beats everyone else's and see if you can pilot good decks that other people have brewed. So obviously, we're gonna end up with a meta, just like every other card game. Moving on from that, well, let's now discuss about the GCG meta. I can predict that it can fall under two possibilities. First is a rock, paper, scissors kind, and the second is one deck beats all. Let's start out with the worst case scenario, which is one deck beats all. We basically find the most broken cards in the game and was able to mash them up into a deck. And it, you basically, as the name states, one deck beats all, you play the deck or you're gonna lose. And games will now suddenly boil down to not the best pilot or the best brewer, but it just boils down on who can draw their OP card first. This will make the format stale and unfun to play. And now you just gotta find people that you agree that, okay, we're not playing this deck. Or even to the worst case, we're not playing these cards. So you have to create a community ban list. Because we know Hoyoverse is not gonna have much stake into making a ban list or maintaining the GCG that way. As they've stated, it's gonna be light-hearted and casual, and rewards are gonna be PvE-focused. The only best way they can alleviate this card problem is to make cards in the future beat these cards. But if they don't deal with it, these old cards are gonna dominate the format, and it's gonna be disheartening to brew new decks with maybe new cards because they'll just lose to the old ones because they were just too powerful. And that, once again, one deck would just beat all. Now let's go to the second possibility, which is Rock, Paper, Scissors. I've only named it Rock, Paper, Scissors, so it's easier to visualize. Rock beats Scissors, Scissors beat Paper, and Paper beats Rock. In the same way, replace it with three decks that beat each other. Now, we're not just limited to three. It could be four, five, or six, and or seven, and it's just a bunch of decks that beat other decks. And I think this is just the healthier format because it means that we don't have one dominating card or a few dominating cards it shows that there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of ways to brew decks and now it def now it falls under the best brewer and the best pilot for the decks that's all i can think of for now and i'm still just really excited for when 3.3's trailer pops down and that we have a finally an idea on how the game would work how we could brew decks and how to win. I'm just excited at the idea of it all. And knowing that you can earn all the cards through gameplay and that you're not gonna be limited by, let's say, paying to get the best cards, it allows people to find the best deck quickly. And I really hope we don't end up with one deck beats all because that means since everyone has access to all the cards, that means everyone's just gonna play the same deck against each other. And if the format doesn't warp to that, we get a healthy format. You get people who could make any kind of deck and try it out against any other people with some decks coming out of top, but without at least one deck dominating all. You still get an engaging format. And that's what makes me really excited because everyone has access to the cards. 
So that's pretty much all. If you liked the video, leave a like and maybe subscribe because I'm going to be making more GCG videos as we go because I'm just, I, I just really love card games, man. All right, see ya.